welcome to our channel pharmacology and we are going to discuss the fem figures in a very short and then we will discuss in detail the clinical feature so as i have told you that uh, it is a term given by which man greek word fem fix and autoimmune disorder with sickle disease and it is a serious chronic disease which is characterized by the appearance of vesicle and bullae with a small and large fluid filled lesion it's a intra epithelial lesion and their types that is vulgaris vegetans folliculus and the erythematous and paraneoplastic pemphigus in the detail we have discussed in detail about the pemphigus vulgaris that is pemphigus or the wool varying size or dif different types that is etiology that is autoimmune disorder the drug that is uh, penicillamine or the co cocaine which is associated with the pemphigus it's autoimmune disorder there is uh, igg and igg antibodies are created on the uh, against the desmoglein and desmoglein 3 4 uh, which is very important for the desmosome formation that is cell to cell junction when there is defect in uh, desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3 4 there is uh, defect in the binding of uh, the cell and the antibody get bind to the desmosome so cell to cell junction is lost and once the cell to cell junction is lost there will be the space is created and which space is called cleft there will be loose cell and the irregular morphology that is morphology lost which is called acantholysis and in the cleft from the extracellular site the fluid comes and is get filled this is called vesicle or bulla or the blister this was all about the pemphigus that we have discussed in the last lecture and if you want this to be in detail you can go to my last video lecture that is that has already been uploaded on the youtube channel pharmacology adda so please don't forget to like share and subscribe now we are going to discuss in detail about the clinical features of the pemphigus their histopathological features their diagnosis and the treatment plan so let's go on to the next part that is clinical feature so now discuss the clinical feature of pemphigus we are always discussing about the first like age sex and the site and then some symptoms that uh, occur in the pemphigus or any of the disease so here in the pemphigus the age is 40 to 60 years or the older age group that is 4 to 6 decade of the life in the sex we discuss that male or the female so male and the female have equal predilection and all sex are all the races are equally affected so coming to the site the chest shoulder back tongue face and the trunk of the body is more commonly affected the other area also affected but these are some common like chest shoulder back tongue face trunk of the body they are more commonly affected then some symptom that occur in the pemphigus they are fever malaise thin watery fluid when the vesicle ruptures you know in any fluid or any type of the vesicle there is when it ruptures it gives out a thin watery fluid but the prevalency or the thickness or the mucosity of those fluid is different so here there is, so here in the vesicle there will be thin watery fluid with prevalent discharge and the sanguineous discharge this vesicle will get easily rupture so you must be thinking and you should think why this vesicle get rupture so easily the answer is already discussed in part 1 that pemphigus is a intra epithelial so it it is on the surface so on the surface think this is the surface and when we touch it will get more easily rupture or more easily it will break so superficial layer get break easily upar upar ka hota hai isliye toot jata hai now the clear fluid will come out as a pus and like blood sanguinous that sanguisius that blood will come out sometimes so the vesicle rapid appearance and the bullae of varying diameter will be in the 
millimeter to centimeter already discussed these are not of so much important now once the bullet get rupture the thin eroded area will be left out means what once the bullet get rupture the skin will get eroded out so there will be a thin area or the thin margin will get eroded think of simple any vesicle once it get eroded what happens there will be a thin layer that will get eroded out okay this is all the bullet rupturing now what the nikolsky sign one most important point is nikolsky sign is positive what is nikolsky sign that nikolsky sign is loss of epithelium occasioned by rubbing apparently unaffected skin means once think of this this is the epithelium once here we are rub here we are pushing the pressure it will not get eroded to the nearest area so what will happen once think this is the eroded this is the uh, normal skin we are pressing nothing is going to ha happen but once the pemphigus skin is get uh, is being uh, rubbed or is being pressed the, there will be movement of some fluid to the nearest area because the cleft is formed because the cosiveness because the cell to cell junction is lost okay this is called the nikolsky sign nikolsky sign that is disruption of the dermal epithelium or junction due to the perivascular edema what perivascular edema within the vesicles within the area there will be edematous fluid and that edematous fluid will get shifted to the nearest site because the cell to cell junction is lost that means rubbing area lead to the slight disruption of that area means yadi hum usko rub karte hai na to bagal wale area mein chala jata hai simple si baat yahi hai this is called nikolsky sign a phenomena is associated with the pemphigus that is called arbo hansen phenomena it means the normal skin will get peeled off once it is being pressed okay the blister into the apparently normal skin and the consequent applying the pressure it is called nikolsky sign so now the arbo hansen phenomena is clear with you people nikolsky sign is clear with you people the next type is pemphigus vegetans you all know the pemphigus vulgaris i have already told you that it is very common so pemphigus vegetans is uncommon remember the pemphigus vegetans is uncommon and it is just 1 to 2% and the age group that it is affecting is nearly same that is 4 to 5th decade or 4 to 6th decade there will be a white keratotic lesion in the nose and the axilla the nose and the axilla is more commonly affected there are two types of pemphigus vegetans that is flaccid bullet flaccid means think of flaccid in the flaccid we can say think of chana okay means when it is kept in water it get flaccid it get swelled up that is large lesion or the erosion means the skin has been peeled off or pustules that is hollow hollow appearance area these are the two types a syndrome is associated with the pemphigus it is called senner usser syndrome nothing to know more about senner usser syndrome just remember the name it will help you in fetching more marks that is senner usser syndrome now what are the area which is affected in the pemphigus vegetans or the pemphigus that is buccal mucosa the hard palate and the soft palate if i am going too fast you may can give me your signal in the comment box or my whatsapp number given in the description so next is the oral manifestation the oral manifestation is cribriform tongue before going to oral manifestation i should tell you that flaccid bullet or the erosion bullet are two subtypes or this is developing into the hyperpigmented vegetative plaque when the plaque is there it is going to develop into the hyperpigmented area with the pustules and the hypertrophic granulation tissue or at the periphery this is not of so much important now coming to the next part that is cribriform tongue it is the oral manifestation what is cribriform tongue listen anywhere 
if vesicle or the bulla is going to rupture then on the tongue there will be cerebri form like tongue then will sulci or gyri will be seen ubar khabar dikhega in the layman term gadda dikhega that will be called cribri form tongue okay the next oral manifestation is the cutaneous lesion that is mucous membranes are affected cutaneous lesions are per present mucosa is affected approximately 50 to 70% mucosa and there will be painful erosion over the gingiva so there will be painful gingiva ill defined irregular border and the shedding of epithelium since the epithelium has no supply of um, blood so there will be shedding of epithelium because cell to cell junction is lost and there will be erosion in the oral cavity there are many area also affected like larynx so there will be hoarseness of voice and the conjunctiva vagina penis anus esophagus these all are the area most commonly affected now coming to the area nikolsky sign with other area like histopathological feature okay these are the area which are more commonly affected now the histopathological feature in the histopathological feature you all are going to see vesicle or the bulla you must be seeing anywhere in the diagram that there will be vesicle or bulla there will be cleft will be visible and the t junction one most important histopathological feature is the t junction what is t junction t junction is a clump of epithelial cell which lie freely within the vesicular space jo vesicular space hote hain unme freely present hota hai since one more thing we have discussed in etiology that is there will be loss of cohesiveness or acantholysis this will be seen in the histopathological feature means cell to cell junction will be lost it will be visible and acantholysis that is loss of morphology and loss of cell to cell junction it will be visible there will be hyperchromatic nuclei hyperchromatic nuclei present and once we do the pap stain staining then the t junction cell will be visible there will be swollen nuclei and one more important that intercellular bridges what intercellular bridges cell to cell bridge jo hote hain they will get disappear but the supra basilar split will be present what is supra basilar split then supra basilar split is the layer that is just above the basal layer there will be a split there will be a gap will be visible and that is called as the supra basilar split will be visible in the left finding we will see there will be increased rna in the cytoplasm of the acantholytic cell and the fluid in most vesicle contain more number of the pmnl that is will well in the histopath also more number of pmnl lymphocytes plasma cells etc and the severity of epithelial cell or inflammatory cells will be present and it will be the suggestive of the pm figures one thing is being asked every time in the viva that is what is difference between the acanthosis and the acantholysis now it's clear with you people so also second thing is name a lesion in which t junction cell is visible you may answer that sir in the herpes zoster infection t junction cell will be visible you are now know what is t junction cell so differential diagnosis in the differential diagnosis part i am not going to write on my whiteboard you can write anywhere that bullous lichen planus erythema multiforme bullous pemphigoid and sica tracheal pemphigoid bullous pemphigoid and sica tracheal pemphigoid oral lichen planus erythema multiforme this all will be discussed with you people in the next coming lecture so the treatment part is the corticosteroids it is important for you people to remember now also you should write about the pemphigus folliculus pemphigus folliculus has nothing to do with other lesion pemphigus folliculus it is a oral or skin both lesion can occur early bullous lesion is present 
once the bullous lesion rupture there is will be a dry to massage and flex and the scales will be seen exfoliative dermatitis eczema will be uh, similar to it and in the brazilian wildlife brazilian pemphigus or fogo cell vangina these are other name what are brazilian pemphigus fogo cell vangina and the brazilian wildlife so these are the thing about the pemphigus foliaceus intraepithelial split uh, will be visual here intraepithelial split will be visual in the foliaceus what was seen in the other pemphigus suprabacillus split here intra epithelial split will be visual desmoglein type of protein get affected everything is same igg and igg a antibodies are formed these all are similar in the pemphigus now the para neoplastic pemphigus one two two line you have to write about all these things neoplasm is seen in the pemphigus this is the single uh, pemphigus which get converted into the paraneoplasm or neoplastic and halt in 1990 discovered the paraneoplastic nikolsky sign is positive every time and these all are associated with the sena russer syndrome along with the bullet vesicle concomitant with the appearance of crusted patches is seen that is dermatitis वगैरह देखने को मिलता है most of the time it this pemphigus get treated by itself and other time we have need to give corticosteroid so this was all about the pemphigus you people i think must be remembering what pemphigus means now very quickly i am going to revise with you people that pemphigus older age individuals sex male female side chest shoulder tang face etc melize and uh, there will be nikolsky sign positive arbo hansen phenomena present there will be um, vegetans that is uh, uncommon 1 to 2% white keratotic lesion and cabriform tongue etc are some common t jank cells are in the uh, histopath and hyperchromatic suprabacillary split intercellular bridge disappearance these all are some clinical features of the pemphigus now you people do one thing write a complete note on pemphigus and post it on pharmacology at the group i will approve and then you all can copy rest i will give you the photographs of these uh, diagrams and histopath so every time you have to write like introduction then the etiology then the clinical feature clinical feature is sex site then symptoms and then any syndrome associated then histopath then oral manifestation then histopath and then differential diagnosis and then one to two line about the uncommon types okay so this was all about the pemphigus so hope you all people have liked my video so please like share and subscribe my channel pharmacology adda because you people are my motivator if you are able to understand what i am teaching you then i will be posting different other topic and i will be uploading different other topics and uh, then you people will find it easy to understand the different topics of oral pathology okay thank you that's all thanks for connecting with me please once again subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you